Okay, so we're checking out the only game where you can terraform Mars specifically to find out exactly how many billions of people would die if you released Cthulhu upon it. It's Solar Smash. So Solar Smash had an update that added a bunch of new things. You're gonna notice three additional buttons over here that I call small, medium, and extra bad. I saw an article about how there's like an asteroid the size of a dump truck that's gonna come really close to Earth, but honestly, when a portal opens up and the Elder God pops out, that's when you know things have gotten really bad. I have a feeling that this year will never have a year that's worse than it because this is gonna happen on the final day. I have to find out exactly what the hell all these things do and what the new planet customizer does before I do my 8D chess play. I don't know if 8D chess is a thing. I just I just decided to add more Ds in the... All right, now that sounded worse than I had anticipated. So a lot of people talk about square Earth, but I've decided to try something even more harrowing to the Earth. We're going to attempt to create triangle Earth. See, it's got one less, it's got one less side than the square Earth. It's worse. You know what? I'm gonna click on this and see if it makes me happy. I really have no idea what the hell this is. It kind of looks like a sprinkler head that shoots out lightsabers. Do you hold this down or do you just click it? I guess to find out exactly what it does, I'll start with Florida. Oh, this is nice. It's like an interdimensional space taxi. Are they coming to drop off an Amazon package? Oh, never mind. Now it's seeming kind of bad. Something that I noticed in all the realm of like, you know, alien technology is it takes forever to do. That was a lot worse than I had. Okay. So I had expected decently bad, but it turned out to be really bad, even though I thought the second that beam hit, it was just kind of limp. Holy Jesus. It vaporized the entire planet. Well, not really sure I can do that in such a way that the Earth doesn't explode. Maybe if I pick something that's less centered. There's one thing I learned in this game. It's when in doubt, aim for the North Pole. There, now you're just going to be shooting at the tip. What are you going to do this time? Okay, don't, no, stop, stop arcing downward toward the, toward the core. You're arcing downward. Oh, piss, I think we're all going to die again. Sorry, alternate dimension Earth that I keep sacrificing your entire population for my amusement. I'm not going to lie, the final moment moments of the earth is my best part. Wait for the Michael Bay and all of us to come out right about now. The people on this planet take criticism and mass extinction a lot better than us. So I don't know, maybe they'll survive if I hit it with this. All right, everyone, let's see if I can live up to the expectations of 7.6 billion people. The answer is yes. Well, um, I'm guessing there's really nothing that can survive this thing. It's like the little cricket of alien technology. Can you like send more than one of the, oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god, no! <laughs> yes! Crash the game! Make it happen! Oh, it's awful. You can see the thickest part of the laser going through the center of the earth. Strangely, the game is still running this just fine. I am very, very impressed. Is the earth gonna explode more than once or does it still just create one gigantic explosion? Okay, it's just still one gigantic explosion. I really appreciate that this thing let me spawn that many of them. All right, I don't know what this is. I, I guess let's release the space tapeworm over here. Is this like another beamy thing or? Okay, it sounds like a space whale. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Is it going to eat the core of the earth? Jesus. Luckily, it went to the right. See, it completely missed Africa. I did this on purpose. Finally, I'm always torturing either Florida, Australia, or Africa, but this time it's not my fault. Oh, it's like a legitimate space worm. It cores through the earth like an apple. Two billion people have already died from its feasting. I can't wait to spawn like a hundred of these. Man, this thing is amazing. See, it hates the poles too. So how many space worms does it take to destroy the earth? It kind of looks like it does whatever the hell it wants. I mean, I'm originally from Jersey, so I guess I'll give them some love. And by love, I mean a people eating space monster. Actually, I shouldn't say that. That's it. That's wrong of me. It's totally possible that this creature doesn't eat people. It just wants to eat the earth and the people are like getting in the way. It's like getting seeds inside of your grapes. I feel like that's almost more insulting than being eaten by the monster. Being the thing that the monster has to spit out because what it really wants is the terrain of your planet. I have to mention too that like for scale purposes, this thing is, you know, I don't even know, like 10,000 miles long. I'm on three space worms and the earth is still alive. So hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Australia, how you did? Oh, crap. Oh, what the hell? What's happening to the game? The game just went down to like two FPS. I think that the joke is on the space worm 
It ate everyone on the planet and it ended up like getting the virus or something. Can I spawn a lot of space worms? The answer is no. If I shoot the earth while the space worm is eating the earth, does it also kill the space worm? Imagine that the earth is being eaten by a space worm and then this thing comes to blow up the earth. Like, should we be thanking this thing because we're not being used as like dental floss by this being? That's right, feel the wrath of how many different alien species the earth can piss off all at once. <gasps> It does, it kills the worm too. Okay, now I'm curious, do the, do the cancer bombs, will they stick to the beast? No, they will not. Please don't touch my explosive gonads. Oh, actually, while you're in there, hold on. Don't mind me, I'm just kind of throwing. Oh, they explode if they touch him while he's moving. I'm not gonna lie, people are highly resistant to having vast parts of their, their planet get chewed in half. Again, not even a billion people dead. I know that sounds really bad, but in the context of the overall numeric values in the game, this is super low. Okay, now I'm just checking to see if you can nuke the space worm. All right, it's totally possible that I'm just a really bad shot. Okay, I think part of my problem just then was some of the nukes hit the explosive testis that were laying here in wait. The devourer over here doesn't mind though. They're like, oh, I love red meat. Okay, I have another idea here. What happens if we burrow through the earth? Now, Florida's gonna get screwed again, but that's just because it's somewhat near where my clicking finger was. And then we try to shoot the planet destroyer, but the beam hits the part of the planet that doesn't exist anymore. All right, grab this. You gotta be very careful here. Okay, that's perfectly straight, right here. All right, it's coming in. The beam should miss most of the planet. May even go out the other side. Okay, the beam is not missing the planet. It is stopping right in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It was, it was for science. I just realized how depressing the Earth is because every time it blows up, there's nothing inside. Like in a pinata, it's like busting it open, going through all that effort and nothing comes out. Okay, so how about if the planet gets cut in half and only one half of the completely separated planet is targeted by the destroyer. Okay, the planet is now completely separated. All right, we'll target way up here. Now, hopefully this is the one instance when Australia doesn't get tortured. All right, there's the ultraviolet death ray. Okay, and it looks like the bottom part of the earth can't live without the top part. It will also join it in death. I think the only plus side to that was just before it exploded, it looked slightly like a Pokemon ball. Okay, well, before we move onward to uh, all the other stuff this game has, I guess to uh, save the best for last. Hello, Japan. I got you Cthulhu for your birthday. Let us fire. It is legitimately Cthulhu. And it's a lot more earthy size than I had. Is it ripping Japan completely out of the earth? It's taking it with it. No, bring that back. I need it. Hold on. The earth's going to hell in a handbasket. Let me, let me just save Florida. We're GTFO and out of here. See y'all later. Cthulhu, take me home. <laughs> There's still 1.1 billion people left. I guess that was kind of selfish of me. I wanted to take like... Florida, but I ended up taking all of the United States because of how big the Elder God is. I'm not picking on you, Africa. It's just the problem is you're the only spot left that's not a molten wreck. So uh, let's see if the Earth can survive three Cthulhu attacks. In fact, you know what? Hold on. This one will be in super slow motion. So you get the opportunity to at least see it coming. There's still 98 million people left. I'm sorry, there's 6 million people left. I don't know how going from super slow mode to normal mode killed like 72 million additional people. Just took them that long to die. Who's left? Oh, Australia, you're doing it. I can't, I can't eat Australia because it's the last bastion. I'll take the South Pole instead. The earth is surprisingly robust when it comes to Cthulhu repeatedly surgically taking pieces out of it. And finally, with both the North and the South Pole gone, the Earth gives up. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, but Gray, I want more than one Cthulhu. Can I have it? I don't know. Yes. Oh, there's no limit to how many Cthulhus you can have. There's no limit. <laughs> All the Cthulhus. Feel my might game. 
enjoy the fact that you have not imposed any limitations upon me. 0.2 FPS. Go. The game handled it. It froze for about, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, but we're back. I don't know if there's anything left of the earth really though that you could live on. Okay, now I'm curious. Can can you defeat Cthulhu with the beam? Now this is this is kind of hard because you like you have to time this correctly. Because the beam takes forever to load up and Cthulhu also kind of takes forever to load up. So let's do that and then do Cthulhu and this should land at roughly the same time. All right, Cthulhu stabs his tentacles in. Damn it, he's already he's already peace outing. Come back. That's okay. I can spawn another Cthulhu and see if we can kill this one. The earth should blow up while Cthulhu is still here. Come on, baby. So space worm killable, Cthulhu not killable. How is there still 4.5 million people left? There's no earth. What the hell? Can anyone explain this to me? Remember how this entire series of these videos, I was always trying to get Earth as small as possible and do as much to it and still have people left alive? I think I've done it because the Earth has been essentially vaporized and yet somehow 4.5 billion people are totally okay with this. Maybe Cthulhu isn't the bad guy we all thought he was. Maybe the 4.5 billion people aren't being killed. Maybe they were taken to the safe place by the Cthulhu. Okay, new question. Make a little divot, okay, right about here. You put a bunch of these like touchy bombs in there. If the space worm hits the touchy bombs, does it get injured? Now, the space worm is kind of unruly. He does whatever the hell it wants. But if I put it somewhere, really, you're gonna go right past the bombs. Oh, nope, he's going straight for the bombs. Hell yes. Eat the bombs. So he's fine. Just like eating spicy foods. Oh, but it did immediately destroy the planet. Oh, the space worm is a, is a creature. You can actually hit it with moons. Check this out. If you, if you spawn it and now you throw a moon, the moon hits the worm. Good job, devourer of worlds. Actually, it kind of looks like the devourer of gods. So this is the terraformed Mars. Um, there's currently 3.6 billion test subjects living there. They're not test subjects because we're testing how good it is to live on Mars. We're testing to see how many people die um, to the various objects I have at my disposal. So one of the other things that they added in this game, on top of all the other stuff, is now you can decide how many missiles shoot at once with the missile key. Remember how before it was like four or five? 50 is way better. Oh yeah. That entire area and only 205 million people live there. Guess everyone lives on the south side of Mars. A little better. I mean, we might as well go nuts, right? Oh, nuclear war. <laughs> Give it to me. It's like when you're trying to just get rid of that one zit. I feel like Mars can take a lot more damage than Earth. I'm not sure though. Whenever I want to find out, I always just summon some black holes. That's kind of the answer to most things. Now, Earth cannot take two black holes without dying, but Mars absolutely can. I mean, how about three black holes? No, three is too many. Before I tried triangle Earth, I had to at least try triangle Mars. Gonna create like a gigantic space Illuminati sign. I mean, we're about halfway there. I know someone's waiting for it so yes mars is living on a prayer my triangle looks like crap it looks like a house made by that one guy that got a d minus in architectural design can i clean this up at all on the plus side we only killed 1.1 billion people i know that sounds like a lot but honestly for this series that's pretty good all right hold on let me bring these angles down a little bit i know that sucks for everyone who you know lives right in this region but uh i break a lot of eggs for this game okay okay that was a mistake i'm sorry to everyone that just got vaporized right there i like how mars finally decided that was too much the double black hole is actually a a great way to get the triangle started. Too bad Mars immediately gives up afterward. How about if I just cut like the Triforce out of it? All right, now performing surgery like this on Mars is very difficult. You gotta be very careful. I wouldn't wanna see right there because I made a slight mistake of the wrist. I ended up killing 200 million additional people. It's very, it's very unfortunate. All right, you're doing good, Mars. It's like why Mars hates going to the dentist. There we go. That worked out really well. And by really well, I mean it killed everyone. All right, Triangle Earth. I know you'll be fine. Oh, I just realized Um, I ended up erasing like all this area and you know the united states mexico canada <laughs> ah, it'll be fine in the pursuit of triangle earth we've only killed 3.1 billion people so far you gotta watch though the earth can only take so much torture see right there this actually teaches us that square earth is the superior planet because people can survive well you know a little bit more than half of the people can survive that is a beautiful looking square earth i'm just polishing it up taking out the sharp edges if you will i wouldn't want anyone to hurt themselves on it all right cthulhu i left florida alone for you i know it's 
it's like one of the tastiest spots of Earth. Here you go, buddy. Get that last little bit. I have a feeling that the Earth is not going to survive this. The Earth did not survive it. So now that we can make our own planet, I have to see exactly how this goes. Oh, you can select what the main green grass looks like. There, there's the grass during its rebellious teenage years. Is the water? Oh, you can make the rivers run red with blood. Hold on a minute. There we go. That looks unfortunate. I'm guessing this is like the chewy inside. Make that kind of flesh color. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, right about there. Is the moisture level? Oh, it's the dirt. You ever wonder if you could squeeze blood from a stone? You absolutely can. Great. I've infected the planet with tides of red Kool-Aid. So what is this? How much sun it gets? Oh, you can ice it over. Oh, I just accidentally spawned two Cthulhu's. That was legitimately an accident. I was just trying to click on these slider bars. Sorry, everyone. Okay, something else this game needs now that you can create planets is the ability to put like a population amount on them. Just checking to see what your insides look like, planet. Fairly similar to what I've seen before. Well, guess I'll leave you with this, which is trying to stop a space worm attack by spawning multiple black holes. Hopefully the black holes create a barrier that keeps this evil being from feasting on our insides. Wow, it did absolutely nothing. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love.